Robert Joy Rains in Edgewater with the Talbot family and Sunday school teacher Debbie Coughlin to talk about a new book, In the Middle of the Line. In that Sunday school class, I asked the students, what dream do you have? Mm -hmm. and, you know, you heard kind of the normal responses, and then Barge kind of waited until everybody else talked, and he said, I want to write a book. Barge is a South River senior who was adopted at eight by the Talbot family from war-torn Liberia, where he lived in an orphanage with 350 other children. It was why he wanted to do it, and he did not hesitate. He said, I want to inspire other people. You know, you cannot exactly control the events that happen in your life, but how you, like, choose to use them, like, you know, something bad. So Debbie listened, and Barge told her his story over a two-year period. And also, it was a way to, like, relief, like, all. Sometimes there are times when I do have bad dreams about it and it keeps me up. Uh, getting it out of my head on paper, I can think about other things. So just to, you know, not forget it completely because it's written somewhere. Right. So when we started the discussion and he told me his very first memory when he was three years old, that was the beginning of, of learning the whole The Talbot's decision to adopt Barge was anchored in their faith. Then I was praying as my two older daughters were heading off, well, Lord, what? Do you have for us next? What in mind? It's very vivid. And so in 59 years, God's only spoken to me once that clearly, you know, you listen for the small, small yeah. still voice, and then there's this clobber over the head. I mean, I did wrestle with the question and the challenge for many, many months, but ultimately, um, we both thought that was the right decision. Yeah, I didn't come to uh, Liberia at the time because of the Civil War that was going on. Mm -hmm. So I had to meet him in uh, Ghana. I got off the plane with uh, the guy that traveled with me. Um, and my dad was standing there like, I was like, who is this old man? <laughs> I guess, you know, I learned way more than I realized. I was Even the title of the book has significance. Uh, I had two brothers. Uh, I was a middle child, and here in my family, I am the middle child, three older and three younger siblings. And um, at the time when uh, the shooting was going on in the orphanage, I was like in the middle of the line. Uh, when the rebels came to the orphanage and or militia, uh, they came to the orphanage and they lined us up against the wall and started like yelling at us, beating us, taking our shoes, and started shooting at the people. You know, some of my friends' house lined up against the wall, so. With the war over, Barge hopes to visit his birthplace one day. I would really like to go back sometime within the next few years. Like if the book makes enough money, I'd like to pay for me to go back there. Visit the, the book is available at online retailers nationwide. This is Cynthia Giorgio for South River Source.